When I'm entertaining, my favorite thing to serve before dinner is a cheese and charcuterie board. It's super easy to put together, no cooking required, and everyone loves it. guys so to assemble our Italian cheese board so I'm making this a little bit of a theme here and we're gonna do Italian Italian cheeses Italian cured meats so first here I have a gorgonzola cheese so the key to making a really successful cheese board is variety nobody wants the same cheese over and over right so variety is the key here we have a blue so you want either a soft a firm, a blue, a hard cheese, just whether it's variety. And I'm sticking with Italian. You totally don't have to. There's really no hard and fast rule. Just variety is the key. So this is my gorgonzola. So you want to buy a pretty board. You can get those at any Home Goods, TJ Maxx. They make for a beautiful presentation. It's not really a cutting board. It's more of a cheese board. So this is our gorgonzola. So that is our blue cheese, it's in its category of its own. It's a cow's milk. And this is a Pecorino Toscano. So this is our firm cheese, and it's a sheep's milk. So again, we have two different textures here. And I'm just gonna leave them in the wedge form. You just wanna make sure you, you put those cutting knives on there so everyone can just sort of help themselves. Cheese knives, these are great. So this is your board, your cheese knives. They're really all you need other than the cheese. I'm just gonna remove the rind so the presentation's ready to go. So here we have brugiotto di Parma. So this is one of our Italian cured meats and it's an Italian ham. So you have, they come in really long slices. You just wanna pull it apart, form a really loose ball, Think whimsical. So you want it to be appealing to the eye, right? We eat with our eyes first. By making this board really pretty, everyone's gonna love it. It's gonna be super impressive. So one year for Thanksgiving, I did, I had so many things to prepare. I mean, Thanksgiving, hello, how many dishes do you have to prepare? I thought, you know what? I am not doing an appetizer too. It's just, I'm so overwhelmed. So I made a massive, huge cheese and charcuterie board everyone loved it it was great and you can prepare it ahead cover it as is even on the board stick it in the refrigerator that way when your guests come you just take it out one hour before which is really important that way the cheese the meats everything come to room temperature because that's when they are at their best flavor all right so i'm just going to finish with my brujuto and then work on the salami which is our sopasada for the sopasada which is an Italian salami. So here's how I like, you could fold it anyway, really. Fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it again, and then kind of just press down on it. And however it organically opens, you can just leave it right there on the board. Remember, this is rustic. It's not perfect, but it sure will look beautiful. So this is a small board for, oh, we'll say six to eight people. And again, if you're having more company, just add more cheese. Again, just making it variety. Different crackers. All right, now we have more texture. So these, oh, I love these. These are cocoa dusted almonds. They have them in cashews. And again, this is really just for fun. It's pretty, it's a little gourmet touch. You have that nice earthy crunch, a little sweetness. Then I love this. So you could either do honey or fig jam. All right, there's no better combination than the fig jam with the gorgonzola, that little pungent saltiness, and then you have the cured meats, again with that saltiness. This is beautifully sweet and delicious. Right on the board it goes. then everyone can just help themselves. Perfect. Crostini, so you could buy these already made in the grocery store or make your own. 
You could also use water crackers. I love those car water crackers, right? They're always great. In fact, just grab a little bit of both. And then add your cheese knives, let everybody help themselves. So you have a variety here, it's beautiful, it's plentiful. I know whether it's even before dinner when I'm entertaining, this is a great starter. Or if it's Friday night and it's just my husband Andreas and I, and we wanna have a bottle of wine, we'll have this with dinner. Come on, who doesn't love cheese? You know, sometimes I give my guests some instructions because sometimes you just don't think Add the gorgonzola, spread it on your toast, and then add a little of that big jam right on top. Sweet, pungent, salty, then crunchy from the toast. Perfect bite. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm gonna take a little of this pecorino toscana, a little bite of that. Take the prosciutto, put it right on top. Add a little fig jam. So you got, again, this is about a different variety of flavor. You have the creaminess from that pecorino toscana. So that is a sheep's milk cheese. That salty punch from the prosciutto. And again, sweet fig jam. Mmm. So delicious. I love savory foods. Now see, see how simple that was? And everyone will love it. I'm Shreem will cook this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.